We're back. We are back, and we are back with Slipknot. It's been nearly a year uh, that we've done Slipknot on the channel, uh, and I found randomly a comment like a week ago that said like, oh, it's been almost a year, Slipknot. Maybe do some more. And I was like, damn, he's right. Let's do some more. I'm, so I'm totally in. I just typed in Slipknot. I clicked the first thing that came up that we haven't done. It's called Psychosocial. You're my in luck. I did not do it on my own channel because, of course, I have Metal Monday. Uh, and I did, did I did do some Slipknot there. Well, not this one. So, in luck. Okay. Uh, if there's any other Slipknot you want us to listen to, let me know. Because I'm, I never grew up with it or i just don't know about it i know you have a little bit of knowledge about it oh but not much not much i know Corey taylor's a singer that's all i know and a good one yes all right let's go okay it's on my speaker big head Oh, yeah. Was that a raccoon? A dead raccoon? Oh, no rocket. No! Oh. God damn. Um, oh! No! Ah, I used to do a lot of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, presentations on school about raccoons and stuff. My no. favorite animal. Actually, uh, in the swamps in, in Nola, where I'm going, yeah. there's supposed to be raccoons as well. Okay, sick. Alright. nice? Um pretty hard i i reckon the real fans i think just that's what i remember maggots they would say this isn't as hard as some other stuff but to me this is already pretty hard okay like if you would hear this live you would you would smash out i think it's such a vibe if you were be able to to see this live Give me horror movie vibes, the one? Who has, who has the favorite mask for you? I think a Switch mask, but from what you've seen right now, for me it's uh, this guy. The I think it's the base? This guy. I like that guy. That is... Um, that is... Reminds I... me of Kiss. No, Maybe they don't the have masks. No, no, not at all. They have painted... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the hair ...faces on. Hair. No, no, no. Um, a little bit of Doctor Doom. It's yeah, it's more like um, Marvel or I don't know, like a Marvel, a DC. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No, uh, no, no, Doctor Doom is Marvel. But, yeah. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It could yeah. be like a character in one of those movies, and the Raccoon was in it as well. So exactly. you, you might go. as well. But I'm not too keen on the mess, as you know, and I'm kind of scared because I'm going to be Halloween in america for the first time and i'm so afraid of clowns but also the masks so i'm going to have a very hard time <laughs> you're laughing at me <laughs> i'll keep this to myself yeah.
<laughs> this gives me a little bit of uh, Pokemon. What? What? This this gives me a little bit of Pokemon vibes, you know, when the he singing. starts to sing. It is. It sounds a bit poppy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just waiting for the Pokemon. I wonder what the like the the fan base thinks of more oh, poppy songs like this. They love it either way. Yeah, I, okay. I think the um, it's the combination that makes it so fun. I'm I'm not too keen gives... on harsh vocals all the time, so I love the fact that he's singing because. I think it was it called Snuff? The yeah, unplugged snuff, one. The I enjoyed one. that one yeah. so much. But this um it's a nice combination, but I love the fact that he's singing, but it does give me Pokemon vibes no. and I don't think they will consider that as a compliment. Uh it reminds me of Crush Forty Sonic. Oh vibes. Sonic, yeah, yes. Sonic that's games. even Oh Crush Forty. I I don't know if that if I say Crush Forty people know, but I feel like if you know you know type thing. Alright, let's just continue. <laughs> That's more the Joker, you know, the face. I just saw that they were heads on fire. Glass. Wow. Poor glass. That was a lot of noise. Wait, you didn't like it? Well, there were some parts in it that I actually really liked, and I heard some things in it that um, reminded me of a song I used to sing when I was like, I think I was two years old. So it's really old, Crazy Horses. Um, if you know, you know. Um, it is, uh, to me, this is the typical metal where they have. The they take all the time they need to get their song across. It's not. It's almost never a short song. No. And um, it's very diverse. It has a lot of different features in it that could be added to another song. Yeah, okay. Uh, it feels like a compilation. Like a mashup? Um, a little bit. Okay. Um, okay. But at it's, that's done in metal as well. I like the var a variation of it. Mm -hmm. um, I do love the fact that he's singing... Uh, I, I, in in my opinion, I would have loved more singing, and if they harmonize, Less growling I'm, or growling or harsh vocals, they call it. I used to make the mistake when I just started on my metal journey to say grunting, but that's something different. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's very hard to tell. 
um, it is an art form and it's kind of difficult to do. I, and I know that he can sing so beautifully. So Yeah, I remember the snuff acoustic. Yeah, uh, that, I, was, really that was amazing. But yeah, somehow I think it was you who got me into Slipknot. And then I started a metal adventure and I kind of, right, there's a credit. lot of, lot of metal. Yeah. Um, Different. Uh, I know metal people get very offended as, when you call something a subgenre of metal when it isn't. I think... Get offended? Oh, my! in my opinion, the metal people are the most nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, they're very protective over... No, what... there's like, it's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> well, to me, to Did you mom. read the comment section on the, the other ones? I think we call it like metal. And they said like, no, it's NU metal. And I don't even know oh. what NU means. But... Oh, I'm surprised. Uh, I, sh I, I read all the comments, but it's been a year. Let so... me know. Let us know what the, the whole deal with that is. I, from my experience, I've seen that a lot of metal people... Get offended if you call the metal the wrong type of metal. Oh well, maybe on Metal Monday on my channel they're just being nice to maybe, me. Yeah, maybe they, they just hate me. That could be the case. No, fair no, enough. No. Fair enough. Fair maybe enough. they want to educate you, and that's good too. Education is. You uh, can yes, do that, yes. but just be nice. Um. That being said, let's get that score in. Three, two, one. Seven and a half. Oh, I, I said seven for you. I thought it, oh. like I may make the seven. I thought it would be a seven. Seven and a half, nice. Yeah, I think that's that's valid because I, musically as well, with all the instruments, yeah, spot on. It sounds a bit uh, mainstream for their uh, uh, um, music, Ooh, maybe. Now they're gonna type the comments. No, I, the, the way I'm saying this is not completely fair because this is one of their most <laughs> viewed songs. I'm pretty sure it has 500 million streams. So putting that in the back of my mind and the way it sounds. I'm assuming that this is a mainstream sound for them. And like a, a hardcore fan wouldn't say this is their best song type deal, you know? Oh, but telling... That type of Yeah, vibe. but a hardcore fan, I don't think uh, a hardcore fan can say the best song. They like several. It's... You cannot fair kill enough. your darlings. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Again, if you want more, let us know. I have no clue. Mom has a little bit of clue. Let us know. And then we will see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Be nice.